Welcome to Kern 9000's Horror House. Despite it being about 20 years after her execution, Eileen Wernos has remained somewhat of a cultural icon. She's a rare example of a genuine female serial killer. She was killed by lethal injection in 2002. This was after she'd been convicted of six murders and confessed to a seventh. It wasn't long after that that Charlize Theron won an Oscar for her portrayal of Wernos in the film Monster. That's not the film I'm here to talk about though. The film I'm here to talk about is Eileen Wernos, American Bogey Woman, which is written and directed by Daniel Farrens, and it's based on bits of a biography of the serial killer and heavily supplemented with elements of fiction. It stars Peyton List as a young Wernos, and most notably, for fans of horror like me, you have Tobin Bell, the jigsaw killer from Saw, in a slightly less terrible role. This film was released on video on demand services on October the 8th, 2021, making it to DVD about a week later than that. The film details the early life of Eileen Wernos in 1976 when she marries a wealthy yacht club commodore, Louis Fell, and it's basically focused around her relationship to this gentleman, and it's a little bit batshit to be fair. It was only after watching this that I realised I'd already seen one of Daniel Farron's films, which was The Haunting of Sharon Tate. A film in which Sharon Tate at the end, for those who don't know, she was the person who was killed by the family, as in Charles Manson's family. But at the end of that film, she didn't die. It was like a parallel universe thing. And this film, although still ultimately ending with Eileen Wernos' death, is very much a bunch of made-up stuff, almost. There is an interviewer interviewing her the night before she dies and even though she's given these accounts and he's essentially crying bullshit on them because the dates and things don't add up she just keeps saying do you want to hear the story or not now if you go into this expecting something truthful don't bother don't watch this go and watch monster if you just want a bit of light entertainment it's not a bad film i've seen far worse it's a decent one-off watch I'd probably give this film personally about 6 out of 10. It's enjoyable, but if you actually want to know about the serial killer behind the film, I would just look for a decent documentary. You're not going to learn anything here, because the mix of true to made up seems to lean more in the made up pile. Okay, that's Kerr 9000 signing off saying keep on watching those horror movies, boys and ghouls. Laters, taters. Hi, and thanks for checking out my video and making it to the end. If you'd like to subscribe, there's a little thing down there. Yep, yep, there. And you should also see some links to some other videos on the screen now. I make reviews of horror films, video games, sci-fi films, and all sorts of stuff. Or you can catch me on JRcade. Okay, take care. Have a great day. Bye.